Hi everyone, it's Taff. Welcome back to Squadron Commander B-17, the Mighty Eighth. Here we are. The mission parameters have been set, so all there is to do is, gentlemen, head to the briefing room. Here we are, we're in the briefing room. Let's have a read of where we're going. So it's the uh, 31st of December, 1943. We're heading back to Bremen. The targets we didn't bomb last time due to the adverse weather conditions. We are heading back. So, Bremen Fog Wolf Factory is the primary target. The oil refinery is the secondary. And the industrial complex is our tertiary target. We'll be carrying four times 1,000 pound general purpose explosives and four times 500 pound anti-personnel clusters. Distance to father's target will be 1,111 miles. For protection, we'll have one squadron of P-38s and one squadron of P-47s. Which is good. So the primary target, the Focke Factory. Flak strength will be high, fighter strength will be high, priority will be very high, and the damage will is uh, currently none. So the oil refinery, flak high, fighter moderate, priority very high, no damage currently. And the industrial complex, flak high, fighter high, priority medium, and damage currently none. That all looks in order. Let's have a quick uh, look at the reconnaissance. Of course, oh, as you can see, they obviously filmed this when we had our bad weather last time out. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit better this time. Obviously, we've got the river, river meander there. And you can just make out the uh, the factory complexes with all the big hangars, all the big factory. Uh, and it looks to be a marshalling rail yard there as well. So if the weather's good, we should be able to spot that. But that looks appalling on that weather. Quick look at the map. Uh, so we'll be heading out of North Norfolk, uh, then diving down, uh, and we'll be hitting Bremen. Primary targets here. Uh, the oil refinery is here, and uh, that is the industrial complex. And then we'll be a simple exit out uh, to the North Sea. Uh, as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four fighter bases, which um, will probably send fighters up to intercept us. Possibly a fifth, but I'm thinking it's more likely to be just these four. So there may be quite a uh, quite a bit of uh, Luftwaffe opposition up today, um, and also the flak ring around the actual Bremen is quite heavy, so uh, we can expect quite a bit of uh, flak as well. We'll be going at thirty thousand feet, so that's uh, just to help us out with the flak, basically. So let's head to the ta uh, head to the planes. Start engines. So number one, Fuddy Duddy. She'll be leading the. Uh, leading the flight today and with her how many she got six or seven missions now and her multiple enemy kills second in line will be auto red. Uh, it's the lucky ducky which is in fact On. the rookie crew of the bad penny going up for Energy their first ID. time so fingers crossed they'll be okay number three we have windy city nose art which is of course lightning strikes coming up for her second mission Number four in line is Brighter Mars coming up for her fourth mission. Number five is Funny Duddy 2, or as we know her, is um, Thunderbird, of course. And last but not least, Black Magic, which is in fact Luftwaffe Waterloo coming out for her second mission. So they are the, uh, the crews coming up today. And uh, so we'll get these guys up and running, up in the air, and uh, heading out to target. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, we're at the waypoint. We are currently flying at just under 20,000 feet, 149 miles per hour, at a heading of 0789 <laughs> when it comes down. We've literally got uh, North Norfolk below us. Um, and then we've got the North Sea to cross. So, yes, it's going quite well. We're still gaining height. Obviously, we've still got another 10,000 feet to gain. Uh, but we're all up. Formation over the English coast. And we're heading out. So, we'll keep going. And probably... we probably I don't, don't expect to receive any fighter oppo opposition until we're well over the uh, North Sea. Probably over land, over occupied Europe. So, yeah. We'll press on until the next significant event, so I'll see in a few. Hi right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, we are hitting occupied Europe. So we've got, was that, uh, Denmark below us. Um, 
we're at 30,000 feet, 150 miles an hour cruise and 124 heading. We are literally coming up to um, coming up to the decision point uh, as we hit the coast here. So we'll we'll get a uh, weather update on the uh, the current targets when we get uh, just a little bit further and we get to the waypoint uh, and very much determine which target we'll be going for. So far, so good. No opposition. Um, although we have crossed the threshold over the uh, the limit of the fighter coverage now for the Luftwaffe. So I'd expect the uh, fighters to be scrambling and uh, climbing like crazy to try and intercept us. So. I can guarantee that they will intercept us as soon as we get to that decision point because every time we need to make a weather forecast we seem to be under um, enemy fire so uh, yeah I don't know if it they're friendlies don't worry over there I don't know how they time it so well but um, yeah they always always manage to attack us when we are distracted so uh, until then I will push on depending on if we get attacked first or whether or not the 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 waypoint comes first. Either way, uh, join me back in a few seconds. Okay, all is well, and we are just about to make the turn for the uh, at the decision point waypoint. So it's still quiet. It's unnervedly quiet, actually. I have not seen any indication of enemy fighters. I I can't see any targets. I can't see anything at all, which is really unnerving actually. You know they're down there, uh, but they obviously want to wait until we've uh, committed one way or the other. So we'll just wait any second now. We should, we're should. we just literally coming over land now, so we should get the confirmation that we're about to make the turn. So we are, we are. Literally seconds away. Silent. There we go. Okay, turn coming up. Okay, we have to wait till we make the the, uh, the turn, and then those further options of the weather forecast will be available to us. So, can we look out the window? No, we can't. Oh, that's a shame. Still not available to us, okay. Okay, let's quickly check on the weather then. Let's pray for good weather. Weather at primary target is believed to be fair with four tenths cloud at approximately 5,000 feet. That's not bad. Weather at secondary target is believed to be fair with three tenths cloud at approximately 5,000 feet. And just for good measure. Weather at tertiary target is believed to be Bear with four tenths cloud at approximately 5,000 feet. Uh, I'm happy to go. I think we'll take the uh, the primary target on that one. I'm happy with four tenths uh, cloud and fair. We should be good to go with that one. So the target is obviously over there somewhere. So um, the one thing we don't want is to catch one of these cloud banks at the wrong time. But apart from that, we should be okay. So we'll press on to the the primary target, the Fogwall factory. And uh, yeah, still no opposition, unnervingly so. So uh, as soon as they pop up, which they will do, um, you'll join me straight back. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, guys, we've got we've got the lightnings diving down. Uh, what's going on? There must be targets. I can't see them, but we won't have lightnings diving down for no particular reason whatsoever. Uh, so let's pick up that visual scanning. Can you see anything?
Okay, that sounds like... Tr Is that, is that three contacts down there? No, I'm not sure if they are... There definitely look, appears to be contacts down there. So I don't know if the fighters have spotted the uh, the Luftwaffe early and they've um, gone down to nail them. That would be good if they have. I'll save us a bit of a uh, hassle. Um... Those booms were definitely the sounds of the uh, drop tanks being dropped and hitting the ground, uh, which is normally a classic. Bandit coming in, seven o'clock low. Seven o'clock low. Oh, I see ya. Oh, good hits, good hits. Good hits on that one. Whoa! Going down. Bandit. Wow. One o'clock low. Oh, I hate being in it's, this. This really is the coffin gunner, isn't it? It's horrible. And they're two lightnings. Then. I held my fire well then. I almost almost lit him up, but no. We got a bomber slowing down. Oh, uh, we got we got a bomber with an engine out. Right, let's do the emergency stuff, which we have to do. Well, we seem to be slowing down. Is that one of my bombers that's been hit? Yeah, it is. It's um, Fuddy Duddy Two. Which is uh, Thunderbird, right? Oh, where's your radio operator? There he is. Right, let's just grab him. Let's um, it's going to take control of the bombardier, and we're just going to manually take control. Bandit, 12 low. Incoming. Bandit, 12 low. Incoming. Bomb doors, full open. Bombs away. Okay, let's close the bomb doors up. Switch that off. And, right, and that should give us enough time to, uh, let's get you back on the, uh, the chin gun. Bomb bay doors, closed. Right, you. Uh, you are gonna. Uh, we're gonna avoid and leave formation. Leave formation. Pilot, navigator. Your new heading is two five five. Repeat. Right. So two, she's five, she's diving five. away. Fantastic. Right. Okay, great. Um. For some reason, Fuddy Duddy seems to be in a bit of um, bother. We've got another plane who's in a bit of bother as well. Is she one of ours? Fire in the way. Fire in the way. So, okay. I'll get on it. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Where's your will to survive? How is everyone? Everyone's alive. Man, it's at too low. Inbound. Oh, his groin's on fire, is it? Oh, wow. Uh, anything? There he is. I can see him going in. Bandit, one o'clock low. Coming in. Bandit, so high. I can't get up to him. Bandit, He's too high for me. Incoming. Get him, my little lightning friends. Get him. He's coming down to me, he's coming down to me. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. We were getting close, right. Uh, these, these planes are in trouble. 
Now obviously I've had the recommendation that we could potentially drop them down even for where's Fuddy Duddy gone? Oh she's she's got an engine out. Okay, okay, we're all gonna we're gonna send these guys home. They are struggling big time. Uh we are gonna leave formation. So Fuddy Duddy's going home. Um Windy City, okay. Right on Mars, okay. You're diving down, okay. Where's the one, the other one that was miss out of formation? So we've got Fuddy Duddy, that is the genuine Fuddy Duddy, okay. We've got engine one, which is struggling. Oh, here we go. These guys are getting picked on. Uh, these guys are going to leave formation as well. Pilot and navigator, pick up a heading of two, five, six. Repeat. Two, they've got a, five, they've got a fighter on them somewhere. Okay. Wow, that's three bombers damaged in the first wave of attacks. That's not good. I don't know what is wrong with this bomber, but it clearly. Is having uh, performance issues and it can't keep up with the end, uh, rest of the squads. Obviously, there I have had the suggestion that drop down a few thousand feet will allow um, other crews to catch up, but there, there's a fundamental issue if these bombers can't uh, keep up with each other. Uh, I think they're okay now, are they? So this is the bad penny on their debut. So um, they are going to fly back. That what, what the hell is that's a big town? What what's that? Oh, I'll see what we can do. Yeah, thanks for giving us that. Let's go. I um, manual on bomb doors open. We're dropping uh, height still. Oh, here we go. Bandit, away. Coming in. Okay. Let's put you back on the chin gun. Is this you still being harried by that fighter? I don't know. They seem okay. Let's go back to the main group. So Windy City, who is of course Lightning Strikes, is now taking over. Wow. Here comes the flag. God, listen to it. He's got that. He looks quite good actually. He's got that on. He's nailed that. Uh, That looks pretty good actually. Obviously we're attacking it from the other side so the reconnaissance footage came over the river as well didn't it? So Actually I think it came in from the right of picture because that seems to be the way the... Uh... Oh what the hell was that? I thought I heard a big boom. This is thick Flag. This is a very thick flag. Right, he is slightly out, so I'm going to take control. I'm going to bring it over here. We're going to go for smack bang in the middle there. Slowly coming up. Wow, this flak. This is really loud in my old headphones. It's really unnerving. Really unnerving. Um, I'm 
wondering maybe I should just actually bring it over here a little bit more. Thinking about where we are. Be right on the edge of that. And we can see if we drifted it at all. So we're going to be right on the edge of that factory complex. And if we start to drift we can, we can uh, get a visual cue as well. But it does seem to be nailed on actually. I am quite happy with that. Are we, we are drifting a wee bit. Oh, no. Gotta wait for that to settle down now. And that should be good. That looks, that looks nailed on. We've got the, the aircraft, that's the aircraft, sorry, the, the rail lines coming in here. Big factory complexes and we've got we've got stuff all the way out here as well. I'm wondering, should I should I bring it a little bit more in here? Obviously, bearing in mind we got bombers on either wing, either wing of us. So that looks that looks as solid as I could hope. A few seconds to target. Almost there, almost there. God, listen to that flak, it's just constant. It's like it's hailstones. And with somebody banging on the door as well. Okay, bomb cue, bomb's gone. Ordnance gone. Let's see how we got. So there's the railway line. We were aiming for about here. So we'd start to see them probably land hopefully about here. If I've got it right. If I haven't in my oh it looks like we're a little bit over actually. Ah, that's that's pretty much not uh okay we didn't get the uh, the widespread damage but this has all been destroyed these have been badly damaged they'll need some repair before they're back in the action so uh, not too bad not too bad happy with that that's a pass I think all right let's just check out how the uh, how the squads doing we've got six up there great uh, these guys do a quick uh, round the bomber check they're okay, great. Uh, here we got Fuddy Duddy. She is. Why is she flying to target? I thought I sent her home. Okay, so this is bugged out because she should be going. Oh, hang on. This will this will behave itself. So, so she should be straying flight straight flying straight home, but she's not. She's going this way. That's really annoying. That is really annoying. Ah, oh, why won't she do as she's supposed to? Two six one, which is yes, that's um, okay. that's northeast, isn't it? Oh, it's east. It's east actually. So yeah, that's what you should be doing. Are you turning? 
Right, uh, so the bad penny, where the hell are you? You are... She's doing exactly the same. She's flying in the wrong direction. There's the... Oh, this AI. It's costing us so many sh bombers because it's so damn stupid. Look, so they're flying... Where, why are you flying east? Pick up a heading of two, six, three. Repeat, two, six, three. Roger. Oh, I give up. Wait, so we're gonna lose the we're gonna lose that bomber. Uh Fuddy Duddy is now plummeting into the, the ground because it's stupid. I don't know why I bother. I really don't. This game. Oh, I guess this is the remains of Fuddy Duddy. We didn't see it, but I'm guessing that is remains of Fuddy Duddy. Bad pennies out of control. I don't know what she's doing. Let's just get these guys out of there. He's okay, guys. Nothing to see here. Pilot to navigator. Pick yeah, up I'm the heading now. Just bail out. I've had it. They're completely bugged and they can't control it, so I'm going to bail the, the crew out of that one. So another plane gone. Okay, let's get back and look after these guys. So who we got in charge? So we got Windy City, who is learning strikes. Let's check on the crew. They're okay. Fuddy Duddy, they are gone, unfortunately. Um, the Bad Penny, she's gone. Bride of Mars, they're okay. Uh, we've got Fuddy Duddy 2, which is um, Thunderbird. They are doing okay, and uh, they don't appear to be bugged out, and they are making their way home, good. And we've got Black Magic, which is, of course, Luftwaffe Waterloo, and they've got a guy down in the rear. Okay. Why have we got an officer back here? I don't know. Okay, I'm coming to you. Hold on in there. Okay, so we've got George Grubel, who I'm going to guess I can't die yet. is a radio I operator. I can't die yet. Oh, no, he's not. He's a mid. He's a waste gunner. I'm here now. What's up? Come on. Hey, hey, it's gonna be okay. You're panicking. Just calm down. Okay, okay, he's back up. That's great news. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay now. I'm okay now. I'm okay. So this is God. Who's this? Through the murky clouds. Okay, this is <laughs> this is Thunderbird making her way home. That's fine. Uh, and this will be uh, the the bad penny. So there's two, two bombers down, we lost Fuddy Duddy who was our shining star, which is a real shame, but that's what happens when the AI is out to get you. So all we can do is bring the remaining, well, try and bring the remaining four bombers home. Ah, it's been quite a high, uh, high casualty rate on this one. But uh, fingers crossed things are going okay now. So we're going to head out to the coast and then our final leg of the journey back to the uh, UK. So we'll press on at, and uh, rejoin me when the next significant event occurs. So I'll see you in a few. Hi guys, welcome back. As you can see, uh, well you probably can't see. I'm actually flying a bomber. <laughs> yes, I'm in Thunderbird. Uh, she's the one with the dead engine and that's the wash, the wash over there. So we're back over England. Um, I haven't been able to keep an eye on the squadron. I have been, basically, I was so peeved off by losing the Bad Penny and Fuddy Duddy by the Bad AI. I've decided to try and... I've noticed that this um, this uh, craft was also having uh, slight issues and she was listing north and, and basically rather than heading towards England she was just going uh, straight up to the... Um, yeah, straight north up to uh, yeah to the the North Pole uh, probably. So she would have run out of fuel over the sea. So what I did, I t I've taken control and I've flown her back over England. So if we have a quick look on the external, oh, I lose manual control. Um, we are so that's the wash, and uh, there were there was the big you know the big target thing on the ground that was around here somewhere. There it is. It's just behind. It's just been. Um, Obscured by those clouds. Pick up a heading of two, five, oh, and I'm five, I'm drifting two, from my five, course. So five, it's two five five. 
right. is over here. Um, so we need to keep scanning the ground. Oh, there's potential. Is that the potential base over there? Possibly, maybe. I don't know. It's just trying to find the base now. So I have no idea how the other bombers have got on. I just didn't want to see this bomber. She was she was desperate to uh, to crash thanks to the AI. Um, oh, she actually gained quite a bit of height. So um, yeah, let's um, let's start, slowly start to bring it down. And uh, 255 was it was our heading. So we'll make a, a turn to 255. Uh, so I think that's Peterborough down there. So where is the airbase? It's got to be around here somewhere. What's that straight above the nose bubble? Before that wood, maybe. I d oh, what was that right? Pilot navigator. New heading is two, four, two, four one. one. Repeat two, four, one. I can't see the base. Where okay. is it? Okay. Well, I'll I'll keep um following the uh, course directions until I uh, find the base, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll let you know if anything significant develops. But yeah, we're just we're just flying lovely over the. Uh, we've got a bit of speed on. Uh, there's uh, the engines are doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So um, I've got some speed out of it, and I've kept her at that speed for a while. Uh, which means these engines are probably going to be molten hot by the time we land or crash, whichever comes sooner. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll figure out as it, as it goes. So, going to keep an eye out for the airbase and uh, try and put it down as soon as possible. So, yeah, I'll keep going and uh, I'll see you in a few. Okay, guys, if you look just there, you can see that there is an airbase there. So that is the fighter airbase before our airbase so I think our airbase must be under these clouds somewhere so I'm going to start dropping down so we're at 13,000 feet uh, and somewhere somewhere below there is um, was it that way no it's definitely, definitely towards the town isn't it and there's the town so it's got to be it's got to be under here, under this cloud somewhere. If I've uh, calculated that correctly. If not, we could be diving. Oh, there it is! There it is! It's literally right there. Pilot navigator, your new heading is two two. Okay. Seven. Repeat two two seven. Roger. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, where are you? You're there. I'm just gonna do a slow turn and uh, come round descending. Right. Let's just. Uh, my throttles aren't working for some reason, so let's just reduce the throttle. It's never the easy way of doing it. And we've got we got got to drop quite a bit of height. Going. Uh, oh, I've lost my bearings. Where am I? Pilot navigator. Oh, look! There's the there's the formation up there. Repeat two 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 seven. Roger. Okay. Oh, I can't look up, which is really annoying. But you should be able to see the squadron just uh, any any second now. If you look in the top part of the windscreen. Any second, where are they? There they are. That dot, that's them. Right, so where are we in relation to everything else? It's a very good question. Can't see Soddle now.
All right, so there we are. So that is the that base in front. Oh, give me manual control back! Don't you take it away from me like that? Jeez. That's that base, so where's the other airbase? It was right there, wasn't it? Whoops. Okay, so we're lined up on the runway. Let's drop the landing gear. Let's lower the flaps. Let's make sure that is uh, coming in okay. Okay, landing gear is not working. So let's quickly go to C. Let's go to uh, U. Engineer, please, could you do ever so kind and get me a wheel? Thank you. Let's um, uh, go back to control. The reason I paused it, I know it's not realistic, but it's kind of like me doing a radio call rather than having to actually manually do it myself. So, um, 162, we got a straight in approach. Hopefully, that wheel will be ready by the time we get there. Should be. Um, I think I'm going to need a little bit more throttle. Oh, for for HD graphics, I could have uh, I could have probably seen that airfield runway a lot clearer. That would be nice. But we are straight in the line, so that's quite nice. 162. Pilot and navigator, take up a heading of two zero three. Repeat two zero three. Okay. Tense times, <laughs> gone very quiet. Tense times indeed. I've just, fl I've literally been flying this plane now for the best part of 20 minutes, and I do not want it to see it plunge into the uh, into the abyss. So yes, I am. If I'm go quiet, I do apologise, but it's just because I'm nervous. Uh, and as soon as we get this baby down, it'd be nice to s check on the rest of the formation. Hopefully, all the other planes have made it. As I said, I haven't. I've just ignored them just to keep this one going. Come on! It's handing like an absolute sack of spuds. Absolutely horrendous. Um, our approach. It's better approach than any other AI landing I have seen. Uh, here we go. Whoa! Get control. Get control. Hopefully that wheel is down. Uh, and three point flare. Flare. Whoa. Flare. Oof. Ooh. Pilot for navigator. We're at the waypoint. Orbit and wait for landing clearance. Okay, 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 okay. Breaking, 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 breaking. And I'm going to put the parking brake on, which will just give us that final. Taxi to hard stand. 
No. I won't. Let's go. Okay, let's just switch engine two off. Boom, she's down. Uh, there we go. That's not. That wasn't the best. Oh, and there goes the formation flying over the uh, the base. So she's down anyway. So we've managed to get um, uh, Thunderbird with a with a crook. Uh, it's just with a crook landing it, which is not surprising considering that was the burnt engine. So one down. Let's check on the others. So we've got um, lightning strikes, which is windy city. How have you been getting on without us? They've been doing fine. Look at this guy with a hole in his head. Um, so they're doing okay. Obviously, fuddy duddy. The, the top turret gun is still going strong, um, and also the uh, the pe uh, the the bad penny we lost as well. Brighter Mars going strong. Fantastic. Uh, that is Fuddy Duddy, like uh, Thunderbird, sorry, which we just landed, and also Orbit, we've got uh, Luftwaffe Waterloo. Oh goodness! Um, oh good God! Oh, we've got two fatalities: William Hending and George Grubel, uh, and we've got a couple of injuries. So let's just see. First off, let's get you to um, heal up him, and you heal up him. I'll help him. Bo, come on. Whoa, what happened? It's okay. It's bloody, but you'll be okay. I can't feel my legs. Why can't I stand, damn it? I knew it. I knew it would be me this time. I just knew it. Get it together now. You're okay. We need you. Wow, this is all going on. So we got this pilot. Come on, Drew. Uh, and who's this next to? This is um, John F Fortnum. He's making some horrible noises. Come on, patch John up, mate. Come on, it's getting patched up. Hard work, huh? Hopefully, we can get them patched up before we land. Obviously, we're sadly we've taken two casualties already on this crew. Oh wow, okay, so the, the pilot is uh, pretty badly, uh, or the co pilot is pretty badly beat up, he can't actually do anything. So we're going to have to um, get this one down as soon as possible. Okay, guys, uh, sorry I missed it, but um, Luftwaffe Waterloo has landed. Uh, this guy has managed to land it on her own. She obviously got pro. Oh god, just park it up, mate. Drew, park it up. You've done a fantastic job bringing her home. Park her up, and um, we'll get we'll get the guys seen to. Um, okay, we've got lightning strikes coming in. Let's keep an eye on the uh, flaps coming down. How's the old landing gear looking? Fine. Great. Nice. They're doing a slightly kinked approach again, but you know this is this is that kind of the flare tail flick they like to do on this uh, in this game. But um, if they can get this one down, this will be three bombers down. So it'll be half our squad down, which should be um, which should be a start, basically. Would which would be a start. Come on, you can do it. Beautiful. Okay, that's three down. Uh, let's look at the other ones. Okay, here we have Bride of Mars coming in for her landing. Okay, they seem to the planes seem to be stacking up at the end of the runway. So um, fingers crossed, she can do quite a a smart stop, and uh, we can get out of there. Okay, flaps coming down. Come on, landing gear. Come on, landing gear. Don't let me down. Landing gear is fine. Let's just get. Can't hold on. Oh, who's that? Just gone down. Oh, the pilot's just gone down. That's not good. 
or the co-pilot at least. I'm close. I'm on it. I'm gonna die if I don't well, you'll get to a doctor soon, just hang in there. Hey, it's okay. It's bloody, but you'll be okay. Okay, here she comes. Landing gear fully extended. Plenty of room to land, so that's fine. Not gonna worry. Nice little tail flick, beautiful. Okay, this is bomber number four down, and this is the last of it, ours, so. Boom, great. As long as she stops in time. Help me! Oh, God, help yeah, me. she's stowing up nicely. So we'll get this the this uh, this one parked up ASAP and uh, get the crew to medical facilities, uh, and I'll see you in debriefing, so I'll see you in a few. Hi guys, welcome to debriefing. Um, yes, let's have a read of this, see how it's gone. So, 12th, oh sorry, 31st of December 1943, Bremen Fogwolf Factory attacked, distance flown, bugged out, bombers lost, 2, enemy fighters shot down, 7, bomb damage estimate moderate, is that all? Oh, okay. So, uh, severe wounds, fatal wounds, fatal wounds, fatal wounds, fatal, fatal okay, not very, doesn't make good reading. Um, it's not a bad damage um, pattern. So you got Bronze Star for um, Kligen, 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 Kligel. I can't read. Oh, my eyes are tired. Anyway, um, so you got Purple Hearts, Purple Hearts, Posthumous, Posthumous, Purple Hearts. Oh dear. Um, Soldier's Medal for Sulla. Well done, Sulla. Cruiser credited, fuddy duddy, crash in enemy territory, all killed on board. The bad penny, bailed out over enemy territory, nine prisoner of war, one killed in action. A action. So, at least the guys, well, it was their first mission, wasn't it? Nine of them, well, nine of them may see out the, uh, the remaining parts of the war as uh, prisoners of war, but... Um, yeah, not good, not good for those guys. Let's have a quick look at the post-mission video. So I guess the ideal way would be to attack it from from the west, which I believe this is the way it's going. Well, no, this would be east to west, won't it? So it would probably be to come down down this channel here. But we've, we've done a little bit of da moderate damage to there, so that's not too bad. We may have to return and finish off the job. Um, so there we go. Let's have a look at the... Uh, this isn't going to be a uh, pretty reading. Let's have a look at the, the cruise. So, Vertigo. She's still in B status, so she's not fit to go out next time, which is a bit um, bit of a pain. Uh, Bombshell Blonde. She's still in B status. Not fit to go out yet. Number three is Lightning Strikes. Completed her second mission. And... Uh, is mechanically A status good so she'll be going out next time Desperate Journey the new rookie crew by the looks of it so she'll be going out next time Bit Lace she's now A status so she'll be going out probably leading the uh, the flight next time Bride of Mars still A status 4 missions down 4 kills which is great uh, Thunderbird which we piloted back thank goodness 3 missions uh, no, sorry, three kills, three, two missions flown, and she is mechanically B status. Obviously, she's got to get that engine looked at. Uh, Luftwaffe Waterloo is B status. Missions flown two. Um, oh wow! Oh my goodness! This will be interesting. So, hang on, let's have a quick look at our clipboard. We've got one, two, three, four fit aircraft. Yeah, that's not that's not good. That's not good. Um, Let's go and have a look at our new one, Desperate Journey. So here's Desperate Journey, uh, and she's got the bomb girl, girl riding the bomb. So that's Desperate Journey. That would be a Desperate Journey. Um, yeah, riding a bomb down to uh, down to target. But uh, yeah, it's not good, not good. And uh, what we may need to do is just have a quick look at. Um, was it Luftwaffe Waterloo who lost the uh, the crew? Yeah, so you can see she's got quite a bit of um, flak damage up here, there, and everywhere. Let's have a look at the crew. 
So they need a bombardier and they need a co-pilot and a waste gunner. Is there anyone available? Ah, here we go. So what are you? You are a pilot. Um, so you could potentially go and be a co-pilot. Well then, welcome to the crew. Uh, you are George, George, George. What do you do? You got average gunnery and average first aid. Right. You you may well be the the uh, the gunner we're looking for. But there we go. Peter Hitchens. You. Where's your bomb aiming? Above average. You are gonna serve this bomber well. Uh, let's just have a quick look. What? So we've got all that. We need what we need. We need a left waist gunner. Okay, great. So let's have a look. Gunnery is average. So you're potential. Gunnery is good. Um, Joel, uh, do I really want to on, on a waist gunner? Do we really want a good gunnery on the waist gunnery? I don't mean to be demeaning to waist gunners, but that feels a bit of a waste. Um. We want to put a good gunner on the front, the tail, or the top turret, really, don't we? Uh, or in the ball turret. So I'm going to stick this guy in there. So uh, left waist. Robert Brookman is going to be the uh, replacement crew. So they should have a full lineup of crew. They do. Fantastic. So uh, let's go back to the squad. Uh, let's have a quick read of any any news. Uh, it was the 8th Air Force. Straight the Eighth Air Force remains concentrate on destruction of the Luftwaffe. Okay. Uh, declaration. Okay. Citation. Yep. In recognition of sacrifice of the posthumous award of Purple Heart is hereby made to his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Formosa, on behalf of the proud and grateful people. Our prayers and thoughts are with you. Which is probably all we can say for those poor devils. So there we go guys, another mission done, not a very successful one. Well, we, we kind of hit the target, but we lost two experienced crew, well no, sorry, our Shining Light experienced crew and the rookie crew as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's two good crews lost. And we've only got four fit crews left uh, to go up next time, so hopefully when we tick over to the next day, the uh, the ground crews can work some miracles and get a couple more uh, aircraft in the air for us. So. Uh, if not, we'll uh, we'll have to see how we go. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Um, I say more more to come if the squadron remains. We may uh, we may just run out of planes to be honest with you. Especially with the these little AI bugs, which are really frustrating, which is just dampening and ruining such a great little game. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this and join me next time for more Beat'em Team. So I'll see you then.